welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you what's inside an ultrasonic humidifier, piece by piece. This Honeywell ultrasonic humidifier is actually the reason I made my very first video, because this thing got dirty and clogged up way too much, and I figured there had to be an easier way, so I made my own. So now I'm taking this one apart so I can show you what makes it tick, starting with this particular hose assembly that has the pump and the demineralization unit. Once all the screws have been removed from the base, you can actually separate the bottom from the main housing, but do it carefully because the wires keep everything kind of tight and close. You need to slowly start freeing those up so you can create some extra space and get the rest removed. I had already removed that bright blue LED which was worth salvaging. And now I'm moving on to a transformer, which has some great applications for other projects down the road. So I want to get this out and keep it too. Another item I really like taking out of salvage items so that I can use them in other projects are control switches, especially ones like this that have variable controls. There are a lot of different things I might be able to use this in, and uh, I welcome your feedback on any suggestions you might have as well. Another great part is the one you've been seeing right here in the middle, which I really want to make sure I get out in good shape because it has a motor that has a built-in fan unit. Plus, the other end actually has a spinning unit that contains magnets that runs the pump indirectly through the plastic reservoir. It's actually a really cool little device, but I'm going to show you exactly how that operates towards the end of the video. With the plastic parts out of the way, it gives us the perfect opportunity to take a look inside at the nebulizer and the control unit that makes this ultrasonic wave nebulizer oscillate the way it needs to to make the mist. It's actually kind of cool. The little disc at the bottom of this thing works in much the same way that many other similar devices do. Many devices oscillate a disc like this to create a high frequency wavelength that allows for the nebulization of water to create a nebulizer for medical purposes, a humidifier, and even in ponds or fountains to create a fog. All right, a bit earlier I mentioned I was going to show you how this thing works when it's all put together, so I do need to put the switch back together and then plug this into an outlet so I can show you exactly how the motor, the fan unit, and the pump drive wheel works. The fan works inside the unit to create a flow of air that forces the nebulized water up and out. The pump motor runs the flow of water from inside the reservoir up to the nebulizing disc, but it does so, like I said, indirectly. The spinning magnets on the wheel actually drive the impeller inside the pump, which creates kind of a vacuum effect. It pulls the water up from inside the reservoir all the way up through the tube into the demineralization chamber and allows the water to coolly run right across the disc and become vapor. Just like many of my other salvage projects, I now have some cool parts that I can experiment with for new projects. Hey, thank you very much for taking the time today to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my ultrasonic breakdown. 
While you're here, I'd love it if you'd go ahead and click that thumbs up to let me know if you're liking the projects that I've been putting into videos. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel, click the bell so that you can get notifications for future videos, and then come on back because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.